Good day everyone. I've made a few videos about uh, the uh, Coleman solar panels. Um, I'll put some links down below. Uh, I have a 40 watt, a couple 40s and a 100, etc, etc. I talk about how to hook them up and stuff like that. Lately I've been getting a lot of messages. Uh, people have been uh, destroying their charge controllers. And if you don't know what a charge controller is, basically this Basically, it regulates the power coming from the solar panels so it doesn't overcharge your battery. So it's sort of automated. Uh, once the battery's charged up, it turns off. And so I'm getting a lot of messages about people saying, well, my charge controller doesn't work anymore, and I don't know, like, what happened to it? And I'll come back, do some research. Turns out that a lot of them are hooking them up uh, improperly. And I tell them the situation, they say, no, that's not true. It has a fuse in it, and, you know, that wouldn't happen to it, and the fuse would just blow, and there's no trouble. You just have to replace the fuse. So, let's put the fuse idea to rest, okay? As quick as I can here, let's take it apart. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of arguing with people. They're like, well, there's a fuse in there. Ugh. You can't ruin the controller because there's a fuse in there, and well, whatever. So here we go. Got it apart already. So if you're not familiar with fuses, basically they're usually either a plastic thing with a little wire in it or a round sort of tube cylinder, uh, which makes up a fuse. So if I take this apart, There's no fuse in it. Uh, it's just the wiring, straight wired to the little circuit board. No fuse, there's no fuse in here. So, I'm gonna tell you about how to hook this up properly, what to avoid so you don't end up burning up your controller. And uh, we'll move on from there. Oh, and just a uh, point of interest, <clears throat> I'm not sure what these are here, but these are like heat little, uh, these little pieces of paper things. They look like paper. Don't take those off, leave those on. They're actually a heat sink that presses against uh, this panel. Helps, uh, you know, disperse the heat. Okay, so I'm gonna get this back together and then we're gonna get into the details of what people are doing wrong and why they are ruining their controller. Okay, real quick, I'm going to explain the sequence of how to hook up your charge controller. With the Coleman products, usually it comes with this, these nice little clips to hook to your battery. Again, red goes onto the positive, black is negative. It's pretty simple. You'd hook up your controller and look on it, it will say battery there and at this point everything's safe there's no power going to it but at this point you hook up your red and your black so now you're set there so now the controller is it's kind of like powered up and then again with the Coleman product I don't have the cable to show you but there's a cable that will plug into here so you'd run the cables from your panel to the one that says solar panel and you know what there you are you're good to go and why do you have to use that sequence uh, for example let's pretend you hooked up the panel first onto your charge controller so your solar panels all hooked up and then you haven't hooked up these and what do you think is gonna happen look at that you know they're gonna come together and you're gonna short it out and you're gonna destroy your controller so again hook up the controller first get it mounted up set and then hook your panel into here if you don't do it that way you're gonna risk touching these together and it's just you know it's gonna ruin the controller on the positive side of that is that um, for these small panels these controllers are not that expensive um, one that's better than this one would be about $30 and this one you can probably pick up from anywhere from $10 to $20. So 
So yeah, if you toast your uh, controller, you're gonna have to buy a new one. There's no fuse in it, as I said. Anyways, hope this was helpful. Take care, have a great day. Like, subscribe.